With a full version of Embryo, you can compile your programs to an Arduino so that they can be run without a connection to your computer. The third button on the Communicator panel is the Compile button. To compile a program, Embryo needs to know how long each of the nodes used in your project take to execute on your target hardware. If there are any unknown timing values, the little clock icon next to the Compile button will be black, otherwise it is grayed out. If you try to compile a program when there are any untimed values, a timing program will first be uploaded and timing data received, then the final program will be compiled and uploaded. Timing data is available on the Profiler tab. On top of the Profiler control are overview values for the project. The first number is how many agents are in your project. Next is how many total nodes are used in the project. This includes nodes and function nodes. So if a function contains five nodes, for every copy of the function in your project, five nodes are counted. The next value is very important and useful. It is the maximum number of milliseconds the processor will be working for every second. Not all nodes update on every refresh. Most nodes only update when their input value changes. In the compiled program, Embryo sets aside how much time is needed for each node on a timeline. When the program is running, it executes each node, then waits for the unused time set aside for that node before continuing. This ensures that all of the nodes in the project update at their specific refresh rate with high accuracy. Make sure that this value stays well below 1000 or your program may not run in real time. The final value in the summary is how many node types are used in your program but have no timing data for the selected Arduino. Below this are two tabs with more detailed data. The first tab shows you information on each of the agents in your project. The first column is the name of the agent. Next is how many nodes are in that agent. Next is how many microseconds all of the nodes on that agent take to update once. Notice that this value is in microseconds, not milliseconds. There are 1,000 microseconds in a millisecond and 1 million in a second. The next column shows you how many times per second the agent refreshes. Next is the total microseconds per second used by this agent. This is equal to the microseconds per update value times the number of updates per second. The last column shows you how many nodes in that agent don't have timing data. These columns are all sortable, so you can easily see which agents are using the most processor resources. When tuning your project, you can change the refresh rate on slow agents to conserve processor time. By default, agents update 32 times per second, but depending on what the agent is doing, you can get away with a lot less. The next tab shows you an overview of all the nodes used in your project. The first column is the node type. Next is how many instances of that node are in your project. Next is how many microseconds that node takes to process. And finally, how many microseconds per second that node type is contributing to the final program.